Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. I'm Nikki Stanzione. And I'm Kristen Van Dyke. And this is New Mexico style. Yeah, good morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. We didn't wear red today. I was just what I was saying. I was like, you know what? You can look at us and see how we feel about Valentine's Day today. We're lonely. You know, yeah. We're a little lonely on this well, Valentine's we, Day. We have each other. That's we have, true. And we have you guys out there to send us love. So, you know, it's funny. Um, I really, by the way, thank you for Friday handling a great show. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes you just can't mm -hmm. fight it anymore. And no. The bug got me. And you just got, you've got to get in rest, lay, lay there all day, and thank goodness you had the weekend to yes. recover, and you seem to be doing a lot better today. I feel I'm a lot better. better. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's the key, is that when you feel like your body's telling you to stop and slow down, you just have to do it. You yeah. just have to do it, and it makes all the difference in the world. So Valentine's Day, big day, mm -hmm. of course, across the nation for lovers everywhere. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even if you don't have your loved one, as far as your relationship goes near you, there are other people in your life that you love, so it doesn't have to be a bad day. Well, that's right. You can always you know, I sent my grandmother a Valentine card. Exactly. She sent me one. So, there, you know, there's lots of love out there's there. There's family love. There's, <laughs> there's pet love. There's all mm -hmm. kinds of love. So, mm -hmm. overall, let's just make it a day about love. And speaking of love, I loved the Grammys. I loved yeah. them. Oh, they were spectacular last right? night. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, lots of great acts. The beginning was good the, with the tribute to uh, Aretha Franklin. Oh, that was amazing. You know, we spoke with Ken Ehrlich like, here last week on mm -hmm. the show, and he said we were in for a powerhouse performance, and it yeah. was, even though, of course, poor Christina had a little slip. But mm -hmm. that was just at the end of the show, and she right. just... She caught herself. Just a little little you slip know, of the it, heel. It, if it weren't for YouTube and, all the, and <laughs> yeah. the Internet, basically, she may have gotten by with that one. But the poor girl, so you know, somebody caught it. And then there it goes. It got tweeted. It's on YouTube. It's, it's everywhere now. So yeah. poor, poor thing. I know. Bad <laughs> luck. But overall, the yeah. voices, I mean, the voices were amazing. And mm -hmm. he said to me on that when we did that interview, he said, you can't do a tribute to Aretha Franklin unless you get the serious vocalists. And they brought it. They oh, totally they sure did. did. They sounded Fantastic. Barbara, too. I thought Barbara mm -hmm. sang Barbara Streisand, her evergreen performance. Uh, she's timeless to me. I think she's amazing. And Mick Jagger. It was great. So we're going to show you all about this because, mm -hmm. of course, you saw them here last week. Let's first talk about this. Derek and Melanie yeah. Matthews. They're the people responsible for the Gathering of Nations, a Spirit Stands album. And last night, we wished them luck. And guess what? They won the Emmy. Uh, the, the Emmy. They won the Grammy for the best Native <laughs> American music album, which, of course, is the biggest award in music. The producers were presented their Grammy at the Los Angeles Convention Center before Sunday night's big show at the Staples Center. The album features 21 songs that were performed at the big powwow last spring. So really a big deal for them. Producers say this is the first time they've been recognized since they've started this. And, you know, it's, there's so much pride, I think, across New Mexico today for them. And the folks over at KRQE News 13, of course, caught up with Derek Matthews on the phone last night to talk about it. Oh, it's a phenomenal day. It's, it was something that we laid real low. We kept our expectations at a pure minimal because we never expected to even be nominated. I'm wow. so happy for them. I am too, you know, and they were so humble and gracious and accepting it. And, yeah. you know, and it just brings, like, it's a good spotlight to shine on New Mexico too. Absolutely. Really cool. And overall, like you said, I think it was a great night. One of the things I liked the best about last night's Grammys was it was a performance-heavy show. And that's what mm -hmm. it should be. It's a show about music. It's a show about performance. The awards kind of were the things in between. But the yeah. show was about the artistry. And that's why I liked it. And that, that is so true because it is. It's all about the music. It's yeah. so good. It was <laughs> awesome. Well, Fox's Ashley Dvorkin took a look inside this night of music and we've got that for you right now lots of fun my mama told me when i was young it was the ticket of the year as music's best rocked out the 53rd annual grammy awards with a night of over-the-top performances big wins and maybe even a try for a comeback as Christina Aguilera is once again the post-show talker, looking to put her Super Bowl debacle to rest, belting out an Aretha Franklin tribute alongside Jennifer Hudson, Martina McBride, and more. She wore my hair, put my lipstick on. Lady Gaga lived up to her reputation by pulling out all the stops with her excellent performance and ruling over her pop peers by taking home best pop vocal album for the fame monster. In the rock category, Muse took over the Grammy stage, performing Uprising as well as winning best rock album. 
and frontman Matthew Bellamy made sure to give a special shout out to his girlfriend, Kate Hudson. Thank you much, and I'd like to give a special thanks to my uh, beautiful pregnant girlfriend over there. <laughs> <laughs> I take this honor to heart so sincerely. And new kid on the block, Esperanza Spalding won for Best New Artist. Eminem took the stage with his mentor, Dr. Dre, to sing I Need a Doctor, as well as picking up a trophy for Best Rap Album. I just want to thank everybody. And the country artists were not left behind when it came to taking home the Grammy Gold. Superstar Miranda Lambert not only gave her first performance, but won her Thank first so award for, for Best Country Female Vocal, while Lady Antebellum took home two gramophones for Song of the Year and Record of the Year. But the biggest surprise and win of the night came from Arcade Fire, taking home Album of the Year and closing the show with an encore. In Hollywood, Ashley DeBorkin, Fox News. That yeah. shocked me. That shocked mm -hmm. me right there. Yeah, I like some of their songs. But that one was a little interesting. Yeah. It was different. It's a little different. A yeah. little different. But I, I loved, loved, I mean, Gaga, you were just saying to me, we were talking about how she's got that Madonna vibe going for mm -hmm. sure. That blonde she ambition did. look. and Even, the, you know, she had the pointy shoulders. Yeah. It was almost reminiscent of the pointy <laughs> yes. little thing that the Madonna used thing. to do. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Vogue, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, it was, she was. It's interesting. She's coming under a little bit of fire for that new song. I know. Sounding a little bit like Madonna. We'll have to see you. It was still good, though. Yeah, and Mick Jagger song. making his first appearance. He totally stole the show. It was just, it was an awesome night all around. I loved it. Really good talent out there. And, mm -hmm. and if you didn't uh, get uh, to go out this weekend, then you missed out on the greatest new romantic comedy, which I still have to get out and see. Mm -hmm. It dominated at the box office this weekend, and yeah. it was pretty cool. Yeah, not far behind that. A tween and a cartoon remake were hot on the list, too. That's right. The Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston, Valentine romantic comedy, Just Go With It, ranked in $31 million. <gasps> All those screaming Justin Bieber fans, of course, <laughs> turned up at the theaters as well. And Justin Bieber, Never Say Never, brought in just over $31 million. I mean, the thing is, I heard it's really good. Actually, it was just under $31 million. But he, you know, even if you're not a Bieber fan, I heard you. it's really worth seeing, especially if you have kids, a great example to take your kids and show them that, you know, when you have a dream and a passion, go for it. And you mm -hmm. can do it all you know, in a good way. Also, the animated film Nomeo and Juliet was third with $25.5 million. And the action-packed The Eagle and the thriller The Roommate rounded out the top five with just eight over $8 million. And The Roommate sounds to me a lot like single white female, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Kind of has that feeling. Yeah, it's a little different, yeah. Yeah, creepy, creepy roommate situations and women mm -hmm. like trying to be like their friend. Mm -hmm. Very creepy. So uh, I know what I want. I want a repeat of the weather we had this weekend because I was in and didn't get to enjoy it. Will we have more of it? Yeah. It is. It's going to be nice. Let's get to the forecast.